you just want to make sure you give people their flowers when they're here. Yeah. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you had me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart. does not reject us in our doubt. God does not close the door on us when storms come. But Jesus came to pursue every single one of us, even if we're in the thick of deconstructing. So the question is, how do we make it through a world that's deconstructing? How do we get and stay anchored in the midst of all the storms in the midst of all the deconstructing, how do we actually make it and stand firm to the end? Because I filmed it, but I didn't, um, it missed the vlog for some reason. But look at these scissors that I got from Home Goods. Aren't these beautiful? Oh my god, these are so gorgeous. They're kitchen scissors for cutting meat, poultry, whatever. Um, and we, what we had was some dollar, <laughs> some dollar tree scissors that I bought last minute a couple years ago. Uh, they've done good, but yeah it was time to upgrade i found them looking for some serving spoons for our christmas breakfast christmas eve breakfast so i got these i found these beauties love them but i also found this and i hate that they don't match but they are what we need which is like a serving fork this is a large serving fork it doesn't really look large in the camera, huh? But, um, you know, we'll use this either for the breakfast or even dinner the next day um, to pick up, you know, meat, whatever. Um, so I'm about to put them in the dishwasher. This right here was, I don't know, 10 bucks. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. And the scissors was actually 24 So... Still not bad because these are very these are some quality scissors they're heavy they're they look sharp so definitely worth it and then the spoons uh, kings and ten were seven out of nine there we go okay now that was the deal right i do need to check to see if before i put the scissors in here if it is dishwasher safe oh yes there it is right there
note to self. Stay true to self. Show that I can use some help. And you know what to do to help. Going in circles, trying not to lose myself. No. Check up. How can I check up? Tell you I messed up. We could go somewhere nice, get pretty, and get dressed up. I always said I should keep you fed and not fed up. Always said if I ain't happy, give you heads up. I would rather get back down, long stroke, less up. No, I'm forgiving you the best love. No, I wouldn't give you nothing less, nothing less love. Used to look at me and tell me don't stress love. That's why I need you whenever I'm stressed up. Cut me off, told me stay blessed. So, we just finished having service uh, here online. We did not go to church this morning because we have a home going that we're uh, attending this morning. And uh, yeah, so excellent word, you know. As usual, we just posted a vlog as well. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, and we're gonna eat this breakfast some uh, turkey bacon and eggs, which is looks good. It really looks good. So we hope you're having a great day, and we'll see y'all a little bit later. Hey, stay blessed. Changes. Right now, I'm going through changes. We upgraded to a crib that's spacious. But this house is not a home without you, baby Ain't shed a tear, you just slept on me Chuck the dude told me, stay blessed, told me In due time, I regret it Especially when I remember you was rapping when they slept on me Hey, it's been too long, I gotta know What must I do to get me back right beside you? Whenever you decide to Yeah. You was my best friend. Used to look at me and tell me don't stress love. That's why I need you when I'm stressed love. Cut me off, told me stay blessed love. Hey, stay blessed. Roll up the carpets, close up the curtains. Guess the show is over. I still love you, that's for certain. Self my old testament, my new testament, my life lesson, song. Um reading or whatever from like two people and then you do boom bam boom bam minutes. hey you guys so we are at Lowe's going in going to get some um it's not called can lights anymore what is it called recess lights it's not, it's not recess oh I thought it was the can lights is up so child I don't know either but <laughs> we're getting some lights um, added to the living room. Then we're gonna go get something to eat. So, look at them, look at them talking about they got poinsettias, y'all. Come to our shop to get your poinsettias. <laughs> Please. He said it'll be on the aisle that says lighting. <laughs> First of all, y'all look at me vlogging and not caring about these people around me who could be looking. Okay, cause I'm a vlogger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He was right by my sister. All right, Halo. Halo. Okay, that's okay, those here. are Halos down there. Uh, model HB mm. HLB six oh nine. HLB 6099FS. Okay. okay, these are HLB 8. What size is it? Um, HLB 609? Uh huh, 6099FS. Yep, this is it right here. I mean, aesthetically and, and monetarily in the future, wouldn't we want them all to look the same versus having him come back later? But I don't think he's going to. If it's all at one time, then we do need to get one, two, three, four. We just need two more individuals. Five, six, yeah. So, so for him to change out the old ones. Right. So. So right here. Is that the same one? I believe so. Easy peasy. You guys, sometimes adulting for me, even though I'm 40, is like, it's like tedious. And it was in sometimes like I just did that. I just did a whole adult thing. Like, 
you know, mark the task off the list as complete and then you feel good about yourself. And when I was a teacher, that's the thing I used to tell the kids, like, look, when you finally like start doing stuff and start hitting goals and, and doing stuff, you're like, oh, okay, I got this. So he's bringing whatever he needs to bring for, what? what? I'm still looking at the phone. What you need to look at the phone? No, you hold this. Really, man? So he's bringing all the wire, all the yep. caps. Yep. I'm excited you guys because we there were a few things that we wanted to um like upgrade in the house when we first bought it but our builder really pissed us off and so we just 86 to about four things one of which I wish we had just like let him fix which is centering the light in the dining room um, but we were just like we literally almost pulled out in the last minute with our house like we would have just walked away and you know dealt with losing a few coins but um, we we just went on and did it <laughs> But, um, and we love our home. We love our home. I'm not saying anything like that. It's just when you are dealing with new constructions, if you have dealt with new constructions, let us know. Or even, you know, contractors in general. Y'all already know we had some stuff going on at the shop too. It is a headache. You like it at the end. It works out at the end usually, but it is... Chow. That's a better one? I mean, it's the same, but we don't need... But that box is different. Because this got like some... Free hat with it. You want the free hat? I don't need no free hat. Is it live? I don't think so. Did it, did it. Hey, you guys. So we are just now finishing up at the Lowe's. Um, so we are waiting for our food. Yeah, we were about to get Chipotle. We really didn't settle on it. We were like, you want Chipotle, it's the right healthy choice to make. But there was a place, and we're, if you know the Atlanta area, we we're at Camp Creek Marketplace. There was a place that shuttered during COVID. It was either Applebee's or TGI Fridays or one of those. And we were driving towards the Chipotle and we looked over and we saw, we looked at each other and was like, Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> so they opened the Olive Garden, um, which is great for us in just in the sense of like, we want things in our neck of the woods. For the most part, the nicer places are in Alpharetta, Cobb, and Smyrna, where the shop is, has Cumberland Mall and of course downtown. But then there are pockets of nice way down where Fedville is. If you've watched Atlanta and you know like the South Side area, Greenbrier Mall, some of those jokes, like, you know, we just are starved for good um places to eat places to meet places to enjoy ourselves so you know we're not saying olive garden is like a five-star restaurant but, but we but, like we like olive garden but it goes to the state of where um you know the community can continue to like grow and people can patron and things can thrive here and not have to go to um Al the avalon or you know mm -hmm. places like that um to succeed so anyway we did a pivot we, we ordered from Olive Garden we're just gonna sit here for a good 20 minutes and just kind of wait on the food but it's okay because you guys um, I think we mentioned already that like we watched church online because we had a home going ceremony on a Sunday for my aunt um, you know which was it was great we try to make it a celebration because we live in the faith and we know that you know life is a journey and at the end of the journey you get your your reward through your faith in christ um it's one of those things where you just want to make sure you give people their flowers when they're here yeah you want to make sure that you love on your family and i know for me personally this is a shortcoming for me I don't like to give too much energy and power to the whole introvert thing, but there is something to me being passive about 
being a part of a community. You know, I'm my door is open. I love to talk to people. I really love to talk to people about ideas and and thinking and 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 things that matter, but also fun stuff. Like I can make a debate out of anything. So that's how I connect with people, but it's on a one-on-one. So a lot of times I'm not gonna be the person who is at the cookout. I'll go to the cookout and, you know, say hey to everybody, hug everybody, tell everybody I love them. Um, but you know, it's just, it's not in my personality. So I don't like that about myself if I'm gonna be frank about it, but it is who I am. But you don't want that to hold you back from caring about people while they're here. Yeah. Loving on people while they're here. Telling people how much you appreciate them while they're here. Um, yeah. Any, anything you want to say? Yeah. I mean, I'm all about giving people their flowers while they're here. Um, but I will say that it's something that happens as you get older. Like, you really start to kind of live in your own little when he talks about community it's really your community your like it becomes a bubble with the people that you deal with on a day-to-day so whether that's like your husband your children you know what i'm saying like people who are like just you just see day-to-day and you tend to kind of drift away or you know from the people that you were around when you were young you know your cousins who you played with and grew up with and we're from the school of everybody still lived in the same area and and neighborhood and now people have like moved to different states and moved to different parts of like the city if you know because the cities everywhere have just really grown and all of that and so it becomes harder to just go over to your aunt's house and walk up the street like back in the day, you know, and your and and all of that, and everybody kind of be in the same church and see each other every Sunday and yeah. have family meals and get-togethers because now you have to travel to go see your cousins or whomever or whatever, you know. And so, um, like, just what I thought about in today's um, service was listening to the stories of like everybody talking about I remember when I used to play with all my cousins and my aunties would be there and teach us this and we saw them do that and what have you you know what I'm saying and like kids now really don't have that because life is just different Mm -hmm. um and so remember when you went to Vegas to a family reunion when we first got married and one thing that somebody um you said but another aunt said is that they want they were soliciting the youth to continue doing things that like our aunts did which was put together the family reunions and and such you know because we were going to be the people that needed to carry the torch you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying and so you know but everybody's like so in their world now and i'm not saying that this is everywhere it's just really honestly if you think about it not how it used to be so i'm trying to be more intentional about calling people and like just checking in um or whatever on some type of level but it is still about experiencing people it's something to experiencing and spending time quality time with people um and i tell you all the time like i hate that even with my best friend we've always kind of just lived so far apart um in like distance i mean we're in the same state but we just don't come to each other's homes like i wish we we would but it's about taking the effort Mm -hmm. um i will say what hubby was talking about being introvert i think so he is he is but i (laughs) think really understanding that type of person um because i don't know if i ever told you this but i have like looked it up since we've been married to like understand certain things but i feel like i have some level of introversy if that's the word or being an introvert um sometimes i think i'm like an extrovert with introvert tendencies does that make sense because you know i like being in my own space too Mm -hmm. um i i like just it being him and i you know what i'm saying so going out and stuff like that sometimes does feel like an effort like i need to like be ready but i'm more ready than he is anyway i say all that to say like i feel like and, and maybe it's just where i'm looking maybe it's just where i see people like a lot of people are like that i feel like yeah i mean a lot of people just like to 
be in their own space. Yeah, I would say to an extent, and going back to what you were saying and what I said before about how I used to grow up and my dad would like on a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon or night, he would just say to me, he like, hey, you want to take a ride? And I knew what that meant. It meant we were going to go to somebody's house and just mm. hang out and just be a family and just watch TV and just have a talk. Like there would be food and there would be a huge debate and people would just be hospitable without... You know, wondering why you here. Without wondering why you here, without warning. Like, you know you what I mean? Here? Like, and you we don't would have go, to call ahead. Yeah, we would just go, and it was on both sides of the family too. And that was something that was great about. Um, it still is great. Again, it's just my shortcoming, and maybe people still do this, but it just seems like it doesn't happen as much. And my door, our doors open the same way. You know what I mean? Like there was a period in time where you, you know, you had some cousins and a couple uncles where it's like. Don't let them know about our address. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but it's other Call ones. First. It's other aunties and uncles and cousins. It's like, yeah, yeah, come over. Like, yeah. I'm home. I'm here. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, the point is, like, when my dad used to uh, say that, I would be excited because we'd go to my uncle's house and my cousin would be there and we'd talk and we'd watch TV and she'd catch me up on the latest music that she liked and I would tell her the songs that I like and we'd talk about this and talk about that. Or we'd go over to... Uh, my aunt's house on my mom's side and it'll be like a whole bunch of cousins we they, we play games like hide and go seek and you know all that kind of stuff when we were younger but then when we got older we have discussions and debates and all that kind of stuff so you know that is sadly fewer and far between for me um and we're trying you know we we want to do more of this holiday season but the good thing about our family is we always bring it back during the holidays so there's always like a Christmas this mm -hmm. or a New Year's that um yeah. so we're just we're gonna make a better effort his family is big though like like my, my family is big too but my family lives in, an, in another state but I really feel like they have really taken me in and like embraced me and everything so I I really appreciate that and then like my mom and actually my mom and our daughter is coming for Christmas so that's exciting um so we're gonna have like our little thing here but his family is like really big like when we first met I guess the first function you brought me to we were still dating though was at Mozzie's your cousin's house mm -hmm. and it was just like going over there it was like I mean it was like a walk through it was a lot to get to where we were like where we stayed outside on the back patio it was people outside kids outside playing out in the backyard like big young older they, his family is huge and they come together and it's so huge y'all it's like it's, and, and this is the thing like I'm getting to the age obviously where I'm where I'm somebody's uncle yes. right I'm getting older what I would never do <laughs> if you're a young person come to me I would never quiz you on if you know me oh. if you know me you know me right um, but you know when my wife started uh, coming into the family and she would uh, hug somebody or meet somebody she would nudge me she like who is that and I'm like I don't know. <laughs> you, tell, you tell me, there, but right? like it's like it's 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 core family that you know because you interact with them, and I'm like, you know, that looks like so and so's son or so and you know, because people <laughs> look like they they yeah. mothers or they aunties, but yeah. my family, like you said, is so it's so big to know everybody and for everybody to know you means you got to be in all the events and all of the chats and all of the things like that and. You know, it's worth it. It's it's your family. You know, and so, that goes back to what I was saying yeah. about back in the day. Cause like my mom is the baby of thirteen or fourteen. My dad is somewhere in the middle of twelve. Wow. So like people don't even have kids like that anymore. Like they don't have kids like our grandparents had kids back in the day to have a whole bunch of cousins from you know for them to have kids and them to have kids and you just have a whole lot of cousins because you remember you were sitting there like when they said who's the first and second cousins or something and you were like I'm yeah like, I, don't, I never of, like yeah, you mean like i'd be like the third cousin something <laughs> like, oh that's your fourth cousin and like oh my gosh yeah. so um yeah but um i will say that this particular aunt I wish I did have like a little bit more time to get to know her because the few times that I've encountered her she was always like so so sweet they had like a um 
was a birthday party or a celebration party for her a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. And I'll say that too about your family. Like they will put together something like while people are still alive. Because yeah. they even did that for your dad. Yeah. And it and that that was beautiful. Like that was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um and so she was really a sweet person the few times that, like I said, we met. Um she just always would just kind of go out of her way to to like get my attention and say hey and just a big smile and you know just that p- very positive energy christian energy <laughs> um you definitely got that when you were around her at yeah, least i was just when the I was loving around energy her. and yeah. just like her being a mother to all because again growing yeah. up you stayed at one aunt for a couple days or you stayed at one aunt right after you got off school and mom was working you know so everybody had a hand in raising you so that's why this time is like one gut punch after the next mm-hmm. because of um you know just life happening mm-hmm. Hi you guys, happy Friday. I'm here at an event honoring our oldest living matriarch on my mother's side, my auntie. And uh, we're about to go in and just enjoy the festivities. A wonderful life that's still continuing with a lot of love and a lot of family. So I'll see you guys inside. do funerals well like I just <sighs> yeah. I, I mean, mean and you actually do have to reshift as a believer and just say home going cause like oh, yeah. it's, you gotta yeah. you gotta celebrate it it's a celebration of life it's a celebration of being with the father and you know for those who are out there and like what are you talking about I'm not here to beat you over the head it's just how we understand our existence mm-hmm. you know this this temporal it's corporeal, um, and it, it leads to something. It ends in something bigger if you if you keep the faith. So, you know. So, but we don't want to. We don't want to, you, you know, saying. bring you down. Just this is we're vlogging every day, and this is an everyday and life. And this is this is uh, this is our Sunday, and you know we just wanted to take the time to say thank you to our family members. Who are here and who have gone on for making us the people that we are we also want to encourage you all out there to reach out to someone you know they might be an introvert like me and they want you know for whatever reason they they'll invite you to have a conversation they'll invite you to you know love on them so you can be the initiator so i'm gonna go out of my way i'm gonna be more of an initiator and try harder to love on people um, in real time in life and and that kind of thing but you know you can you can do that for someone else too and, and I, I guarantee you they'll love you and appreciate you for it you know even if it's just like a random text like hey cuz I was thinking about you mm-hmm. remember when love you hope all is well you yeah. know it's, it's, it's good so yeah 
I just want to know if some of my extrovertness rubbed off on you. I mean, as much as much as you think you're an extrovert, you don't think I am. I think we, I think we equally yoked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, nah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> I'll say this about wife: like when you talk about a better half, like she's my better half, and it's the some people in the world don't know what that like it looks like or what it feels like you know, for me to refer to her as anything other than my wife with pride and a smile on my face and <laughs> you know always talking about her and even like she said when I introduced her to to my family it's like you almost go before me as like the representation of me you know because it's like I don't know it's, it's you're just so lovable <laughs> like, I, let me put it this way I send my wife in to do the, all the, the dirty work so yes you are in that respect you are extroverted because you got to be extroverted enough for the both of us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like go win this person over for me I'm, I'm going to sit back in the car and you, you make this 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 person like me through you but uh, we don't have anything else planned for the day we're going to go home we're going to eat we're going to find something I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to relax. We're going to deflate. We watch vloggers too. Ooh, yeah. Yes. But um, we hope y'all are enjoying the vlogmas. Yeah. And we want to thank y'all. I'm with you, babe. Okay. We in this together. Okay, you want to fist pump me? Y'all. Okay, put down in the comment real quickly if y'all think we should have a secret handshake. Really? <laughs> okay, that's all I want to know. Let me go get the food, y'all. All right. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>